welcome back to my channel. If you can hear the annoying grating noise in the background, that's Bailey chewing on bone. It's the only way she's not gonna bark and be a mess throughout this entire video. So, it's just gonna happen. I wanted to take today to film my first trimester must-haves, AKA the things that helped me survive my first trimester. Um, as you know, I am 15 weeks pregnant now, and the first trimester was rough. It was intense, and it wasn't fun. <laughs> but we survived. We're happy. We're healthy. We have a lot more energy and a lot less throwing up, and we're good now. So I am going to just show you all a bunch of things that I think that you really need to have to survive your first trimester. Um, you can give, take some of these, um, and I'll have whatever I can find linked down in the description box below so that you can just click on it and then find it there. So I have them all pulled up on my phone and I'm just going to go through the list and tell you why they're important. So the first thing is kind of an obvious thing. I talked about it in my January favorites, um, but when you're pregnant, you're supposed to take prenatal vitamins because your baby needs a lot of nutrients and they will take the nutrients from you so you have to replenish your own supply and I take a different kind now but during my first trimester when I was super nauseous all the time he liked it <laughs> Griffin's laying right here and I started shaking it and he like looked up at it when I was in my first trimester and I was super nauseous swallowing a horse pill like my prenatals are now was impossible I still gag when I take my prenatals now and I'm not even that nauseous but I suggest getting some gummy prenatal vitamins. A lot of times they help with your nausea and they're just easier to take. Um, there is a bunch of controversy over whether or not they're as good for you. I mean, they're chock full of sugar, so definitely they're not as good for you. Um, but you take what you can get down. So I take, well I took the Smarty Pants Prenatal Complete. They have three different flavors and I really liked them. So now I take a better one for me, but I have to swallow it. So that is my first suggestion. I have like everything just kind of set up here. So if you see me putting things or taking things, then you know what? Second and third thing on my list, I'm just going to put together because in my mind they go together, even though they probably don't seem like they go together for you. Um, but I use them together every night. So in your first trimester, or for at least me, I got really dehydrated, which meant my lips got really dry, especially because I'm pregnant in the winter. Um, and so I swear by the EOS chapstick. This is the vanilla, I think it's just vanilla, I don't think it's a mixture, um, but it's the vanilla, little stick form rather than the ball. Comes in a pack of two, I love it, it's the greatest. And that helped my dry lips. And then also at night, I would always put on the Young Living Tranquil Roller. And this has lavender, cedarwood, Roman chamomile, and coconut oil in it. And obviously, talk to your doctor before you start using essential oils during your pregnancy. My midwife said that it's okay if I avoid certain ones. And these do not, this does not include any of those. And this is called Tranquil. It's a Tranquil Roller for a reason. It helps you fall asleep, sleep better, and has lots of other benefits. But um, I have some pretty crazy dreams now that I'm pregnant. You always hear about pregnancy dreams. And this helps me fall asleep. So the next thing I have on the list is not here with me. It's in there but that's my pregnancy pillow and I'll probably try and insert a picture somewhere of one um, but I got mine off Amazon I think for about $70 um, and I got mine really early I got mine at like five or six weeks just because I couldn't sleep because I was so uncomfortable and I don't use it as much now but at first I like could not fall asleep without it because I was in so much pain um, just my hips were hurting whenever I would lay down and I was just really comfortable. So the pregnancy pillow, I have the U-shaped one. 
they have the c-shaped one too i think um but it really helps me falling asleep especially whenever i have morning sickness and i just wanted to sit in bed in the mornings and like not deal with anything i would prop it up and watch tv and it really helps with that as well so i really like it i'll link one down in the description box below that i found from bye bye baby it looks the exact same i'm pretty sure it is the exact same but that'll be linked down below um sweatpants so in your first trimester you bloat really bad so you don't have a cute little baby bump yet if it's your first baby at least um but you look like you're pregnant because you're bloated and yeah jeans are not comfy thankfully i work from home so i can wear leggings and sweatpants all day i'm wearing one of my favorite pairs of leggings that i got um well i'm just gonna stay there um but these are from airy like american eagles like pj brand thing um but i'll link these down below i got these on sale for 20 bucks so that was literally like 50 percent off and they're great and they're comfy and i have another pair that's in the wash right now um and they're even comfier like it's literally like a cloud i plan on wearing them the entire pregnancy but my suggestion my personal suggestion is to there's griffin is to buy like two or three pairs of sweatpants if you don't have that many to begin with um that can stretch out really well with you while your belly is growing and yeah so i'll link those two pairs down below too next things next is either a comfy pair a comfy pair a comfy like sports bra or bralette or just investing in a new bra in general i got this one um if you don't know your boobs get bigger when you're pregnant um which was something that i was kind of sad about honestly i personally enjoy having small boobs um but i finally got to the point where i like had to get something <laughs> and so i got just a cheap little bralette from target and i think it was like eight dollars twelve dollars oops um but yeah so just finding cheap little good things to get you through until you want to actually invest in like a nursing bra or whatever i don't know i'm not to that point yet so i don't know but that helped me a lot during my first trimester keeping it going a water bottle like you heard me say earlier i got really dehydrated in the first trimester and i almost had to go to the hospital to get an iv because i was really dehydrated and i really didn't want to so for christmas my mom and my dad got me a 32 ounce hydro flask and i try to drink at least two minimum um if not because everyone whether you're pregnant or not should drink at least two 32 ounce drinks a day um because that's 64 ounces that's like the daily recommended amount um anyways tangent aside i try to drink three of these sometimes i can't get three of these in just because i'm so sick of drinking water um but i try i really like this one because it has the little straw keeping it coming i got i have a few pregnancy books but the one that i really like during my first trimester at least is the mama natural week by week guide to pregnancy and childbirth by genevieve howland and she has a youtube channel and a website blog website and she i don't think she's a doula but doula but she yeah she's not a, mi a midwife or a doula but she has input from two midwives doulas whatever but this is really great it goes by week by week and it shows so this was last week it shows like what's happening with baby what's up with mama and then it just says some things about like what might be happening at your ob midwife appointment so this is week 14 and it talks about like amniocentesis to see if you opt for that an anatomy ultrasound it says some like affirmations like you can give birth your body is made for this yada 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 it has recipe suggestions 
and like a to-do list at the end of each week and it's really great to me at least i really enjoyed it so far and i really like their website and yeah if you're pregnant i suggest checking it out or at least checking her out online or um on youtube here and but it's a massive book honestly so and the last thing that i have on my list i'll probably like finish this video and then think of like four other things but is like crackers or saltines or ritz or just something else bland to eat um honestly eating crackers did not really help with my morning sickness but it helped me keep something down if that makes sense so it didn't make me less nauseous my mother-in-law would always tell me like eat a few crackers before your feet hit the floor so you, before you get out of bed so that uh, your nausea your nausea goes down and that never happened for me um but I could never eat anything else nothing that sounded good from fruit aversions or just I didn't think I could eat anything else and so having crackers or something like that on hand I could eat those and it gave me a little bit of energy to get through the day so yeah so you guys thank you so much for watching my first trimester must-haves or how to survive your first trimester whatever I end up calling this video um, I really appreciate it and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or found it helpful comment down below what got you through your first trimester or what you're struggling with if you're in your first trimester right now and subscribe for more pregnancy and baby and mommy videos to come so I hope you have a great day and I will catch y'all I think this video is going up on Wednesday so if it goes up on Wednesday then I'll catch y'all on Saturday and if it goes up on Saturday then I'll catch y'all on Wednesday but I hope you all have a great day and peace out Girl Scout